Welcome back to Boss Guys. New series for the new G.I. Joe Hasbro HasLab 3.75 inch Sky Striker mini series. In this mini series, we're going to take a big old deep dive into every part of the recent HasLab by Hasbro. And when we're all said and done, we're going to have us a very nice playlist. So if you're looking for a certain section of the mini series, check out the playlist, pick the part you want to see, and Go ahead and view it. Part one is going to be the packaging. Uh, the packaging is supposed to be a experience for all collectors. So let's get started with part one. So here's the side of the box. It's about 25 and a half inches long. It's actually a relatively big box for a Sky Striker. I think a lot of this is just packaging that maybe we could have saved some money on with all this fancy experiencing packaging. All the dimensions and weights and everything. It's pretty decent. Here's the top of the packaging. Here's the side of the packaging. So the reverse sides are the sides and the long side and top and bottom pretty much all the same. Nothing much to see there. So let's go ahead and get this open and see what the first layer looks like. So inside the outer box, we have another box. <laughs> and right off the bat, we have the packaging engineers at Hasbro with the misspelling from word. Please open form side. It's supposed to say, please open from side. So inside the inner box, we do have this piece here. Like we have two little handles on each side. And basically what that's going to do, and this guy's have to hold the camera. Is that's just going to pick up the Sky Striker box straight out of the packaging when you grab the handles. Man, look at that artwork. That is absolutely beautiful. My box came in pretty nice condition, so hopefully this is a mint box so you can keep for, you know, nostalgia purposes. It's pretty nice. Let's try the figures. The warnings, beautiful logo, a real American hero, love that. Here's the side of the box, so as you can see when you pull these two handles, pretty much it's on a cardboard and it just uh, picks that box out. And then once you remove that little shelving piece with the handles, this is what you got inside. That's what it looks like right off the... Uh, kind of stuff is kind of thrown in there in my opinion. We have the label sheets we'll be taking a look at. Man, these things are heavy. There's some thick sheets there. And we have... Obviously we have all the accessories on one side. All the figures on one side here. So these are basically two different trays. I'm just going to pull them out. That's what it's meant for, I guess. So we'll just get down in here. And these are actually quite thick boxes. Let's see how that works. It's like a, just a tray there. So I'm going to pull both those trays out. I'm going to take a look at them. Okay, so in this box here, we'll call it tray one to have a lot of tissue paper stuff inside there. It's how it's packaged and actually heavier paper, it's not tissue paper. It's more paper, kind of like paper style. We have this piece of cardboard here with stickers that here on the side and stuck in there. That's pretty cool. So when you pull out this piece, it's got like the cars, the fuel car, and this car, kind of like stuck in the side there. So it's kind of upside down. And then the other bag fell out along with the stand, which will be taking detailed um, views of all this stuff. So 
so it was definitely a surprise i believe to myself and everyone else was this piece either it's cardboard this is a the trees become a nice large runway with lights and some grass and some line work and then we have the number 83 on this one for the date 1983 for when original sky shaker came out that's a really nice feature and so like i said this is quite large it's my hand so uh, you can at least probably get i want to say two sky strikers on a single runway you know in one in front of the other so the second tray we have the, all the figures pretty awesome how they have this designed for no uh, plastic packaging apparently you see i uh, created these triangles here that interlocks all the figures kind of like this so you can keep the cards i guess as good as it's going to get for the way hasbro likes to package things now um, so here's all, all of our cards we'll definitely be taking a look at all these figures individually in our mini series so don't forget to uh like share and subscribe so you don't miss all that so with the figures removed we have this which is nothing and then we have the other half of the runway it's pretty cool see this side of the pit this is going to be pretty nice also going to be a pain to try to keep this in a pretty decent condition um especially if you don't if you don't move it around you might have a, the longest chance of keeping it decent but if you move it around a lot fold it unfold it you're definitely going to have um you know some of our issues and then any kind of weight you put on it more like it's going to put like indents in a cardboard so but i guess it's going to be um is what it is i guess for cardboard but nonetheless this is actually a pretty cool feature they didn't have to do this printed it give you a little extra um for your gi joe sky striker has lab all right so that's pretty much your unboxing experience um something that didn't do much for me i could deal without if it has saved all of us a few bucks on the overall cost a lot of material here that could have been saved from a company that wants to keep you know help the environment you got a lot of cardboard for no point in my opinion but um for those of you that enjoy the unboxing experience hopefully this gives you an overall idea of what to expect when you open up your sky striker or it helped you uh experience the overall experience if you didn't not back this project and did not get one but was curious what it turned out to be so that's my goal here in this mini series is for anybody out there to get a chance to back this that can live and experience it through this mini series so don't forget to keep an eye out like share and subscribe so you don't miss out all the parts i want to make this the highest detailed review on youtube so don't forget to like share and subscribe this mini series so everybody knows how detailed how much work we put into it so you guys can see every aspect of every part of this new HasLab. thanks for watching and we'll see you in part two